In this video, you're going to learn how to use the Tastyworks Analysis tab to analyze your option strategies before you put them on. If you're new to Tastyworks, be sure to check out the link in the description below to learn about how you can get one of our options trading courses for free when you open an account with Tastyworks. All right, so I've just opened up the Tastyworks trading platform, and to get to the Analysis tab, the first thing you're going to have to do is enter a trade. So I'm going to open up the trade page, and currently I'm looking at Facebook options. So in Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and open up the July 2018 expiration cycle with 38 days until expiration. Now, Facebook is currently trading at $194.08, and the position that I'm going to analyze is going to be a short call spread. So I'm going to look at the 200 call as my short call, and then I'm going to click on the 205 call to create a 200 205 short call spread or bear call spread. Now this strategy is currently trading for $1.24 and just to make it easier I'm going to round it out to $1.25 and this little lock down here is just indicating that this price is locked and will not change based on the current option prices in the market. So if I unlock this it'll change it to whatever the current price is that it's trading for but if I change the price it'll lock it and all of the numbers that I'll see on the analysis tab will be relative to this number right here. So to get to the analysis tab, all you have to do is actually make sure that this analysis button is checked. So once that box is checked, you actually have to change over to the curve view by clicking this button right on the top left here. Now once you open up the curve view, you'll notice that you have an expiration risk profile graph, which is for this 200-205 call spread that I'm queuing up to sell. So I haven't actually sold this position, I've just selected the options and put in a price and this graph is showing me the profit and loss potential of this particular option strategy. So on the top row here you can see it says PNL at X and then you have these numbers that go all the way across and these numbers are the expected profit or loss at expiration given different stock prices. So whatever stock price you're hovering over you'll see that there's a PNL expiration associated with that. So that's the profit or loss at expiration based on the stock price that you're currently hovering over. So in this little P&L box here, you'll notice the top says June 13th, which is 37 days. Um, and that's indicating that today is June 13th, and these options have 37 days until expiration. Now under that, you'll see price, and that's the stock price that we're currently hovering over. So for instance, right now I'm at 182.50. You can also see 182.50 right in the middle of this graph here. And that is basically just the stock price that we're hovering over. And the PL expiration says 125, which means that if Facebook is at $182.50 at expiration in 37 days, then the strategy that we're looking at will have a profit of $125. Now the PL Theo below that says $86.04. And that is estimating that if Facebook were to fall to $182.50 today, the profit on this short call spread would be $86.04. Now keep in mind that's just an estimation, and if Facebook were to fall to $182.50, we would likely see a significant change in implied volatility, which means that the current P&L Theo that we're looking at may not be 100% accurate relative to what would actually play out in real life. So if we scroll all the way to the right here and we look at stock prices that are above this long call strike price of $205, you'll notice that the P&L expiration says $375 for any price to the right or above of that $205 call. So that's because if Facebook is above $205 at expiration in 37 days, then this $200-205 call spread will be worth $5 and since we're looking at selling the spread for $1.25, that means our maximum loss potential is $375 per spread, which this analysis tab is showing us. So another thing to mention is that this is going to give you the profit and loss potential of however many positions you're looking at. So since we're only looking at one spread here, and we're looking at selling a five-point wide spread for $1.25, our maximum profit potential was going to be $125 and our maximum loss potential is going to be $375. Now if I increase the quantity to say 10 spreads, 
If I change that to 10 spreads, you'll notice that it says our maximum profit potential is now $1,250 and our maximum loss potential is $3,750. And on this chart here, we can see that those numbers have changed accordingly. So to keep things simple, I'm going to drop this back down to just selling one call spread. So another thing that you can see here is the percentage or the estimated probability that the stock price will be in our profit zone or in our loss zone at expiration. So right next to these prices here in the middle, you can see that to the left and in this green profit zone, it says 70.7%. And that's estimating that if we sell this 200, 205 call spread in the July 2018 expiration cycle, and we sell that spread for $1.25, there's an approximated 70.6% probability that Facebook will be in the maximum profit zone at expiration, which is going to be less than $200 at expiration. Now that makes sense since Facebook is right at 193.35, and since there's $7 the stock can increase before hitting our loss zone, then that means that there is a high probability that Facebook will be in our maximum profit zone at expiration since it has to increase a pretty decent amount just to get to this loss zone. So on the right hand side here we can see that it says 29.3% and that's estimating that there's a 29.3% probability that Facebook is in our loss zone at expiration. Now, since we're selling the 200, 205 call spread for $1.25, our break-even price is 201.25. And if you can see here, I'm hovering my, my mouse right over 201.25, and it says the PL at expiration is going to be $0. And that's because if Facebook is right at 201.25 at expiration, this 200 call will be worth $1.25. The 205 call will be worthless which means the net value of this 200, 205 call spread will be $1.25. And if we sell, if we sold it for $1.25, that means that at expiration, we will not have any profits or losses. Now, another thing you can do when you're on the analysis tab is you can open up this hidden menu by clicking on the arrow on the very top right of the screen. And when you click that, it's going to show you a menu that tells you which stock you're looking at, which options you've selected, how many quantities you're trading, the expiration date, the days to expiration. And down here, you can also change some of the inputs that are going into these numbers. So one thing you can do is you can change the evaluate at date, which is going to change these probability numbers based on the date that you're choosing and how many days to expiration this spread has based on the date that you are currently looking at. So right now we have 37 days to expiration and we can see that it says there's a 71% probability that Facebook is in our profit zone if Facebook is at this current price and this spread has 37 days to expiration. Now if we change this, let's go to just a couple dates ahead and now we can see that on July 2nd, 2018, we're going to have 18 days to expiration. So basically half the time that we do as of today. And if we look at these probability numbers again, we can see that it's now, it now says 78.4% of being in our profit zone and 21.6% of Facebook being in our loss zone. So this is saying that if Facebook is at 193.28 with 18 days until expiration, this spread will now have a 79% probability of being profitable versus the 71% probability from today. So if we want to reset this date to today, all we have to do is go ahead and click on this today button. And as we can see, once we click that, this brings us back to 37 days to expiration, which is today. And we can see these probability numbers have adjusted accordingly. Now, another thing you can do is you can engage the theoretical spot price feature by checking this box right here. So if I click that, this is going to open up the current Facebook stock price, which in this instance is 193.20. Now this probability is saying that there's about a 50% chance that Facebook is above or below the current stock price, which makes sense because at any given moment there's about a 50-50 chance that a stock is above or below its current price at some point in the future. Now if we drop this down to, let's say, 185.20, we'll notice that the probability says 28.2%. 
And that is basically saying that at expiration in 37 days, there's about a 28% chance that Facebook is below $185.20. Now you can also go on the other side and let's look at, let's say 205.20 for example, or I'll just change it to 205 since that's our long calls strike price. Now this is saying that there's about a 21.2% chance that Facebook is above $205 at expiration in 37 days. Now one final thing that you can do is you can actually change the implied volatility numbers that you're seeing and since we're in the July 2018 expiration cycle, you'll notice that this July 2018 expiration cycle is somewhat highlighted which is indicating that we're looking at positions within that expiration cycle. Now currently the implied volatility of the July 2018 options in Facebook is 23.12% and we can actually change this implied volatility percentage by using these arrows just to the right of that implied volatility percentage and when we do so to the right of that it'll give us the new implied volatility percentage that we're estimating. So another thing you can do is you can look at this curve which is the theoretical profit and loss curve based on all the inputs that we're looking at as of this moment. So if I go ahead and change this implied volatility number, let's say I increase that to 30%. So I'm just going to add 7 percentage points to that and now we can see it's at 30.12%. Now when I did that, you'll notice that the P&L theoretical curve has changed. So it's gotten a lot flatter and that's because if we experience an increase in implied volatility, then we're going to have fewer profits given the current stock price. So if I demonstrate that one more time, if I go to $185, we can see that the theoretical profit is $70.93, which is indicating to me that if nothing changed but Facebook fell to $185 today and we still had 37 days to expiration, we're expected to have a profit of $70.93 on this 200-205 call spread. Now if I increase the implied volatility to 30% and I go back to the 185 price point, you'll see that now it says the theoretical profit is only $42, which has decreased from the theoretical profit based on Facebook at $185 with 23% implied volatility. As mentioned earlier, check out the link in the description below to learn more about Tastyworks and their commission structures and also to learn about an offer from us when you open an account with them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some other options trading videos that are featured on this page right now. And once again, I'm Chris from projectoption.com and thank you for watching.